we're calling on the government to introduce minimum unit pricing for alcohol because of the harm it causes to the excessive drinkers uh, and, and try to resolve that. It would create a more level playing field where the really cheap alcohol retailers they would have to in uh, increase their prices but the general pub will not have to increase its prices. A lot of the excessive drinking is, is pre-loaded before they come to the pubs. There's no controls. The landlords, if, if someone's getting inebriated, they will stop serving them, so there's some control there. And it costs this borough £68 million per year in hospital admissions, antisocial behaviour and lost work. Uh, well, yeah, it has affected us uh, in a lot of ways because, especially the younger end, the younger end don't use the pubs like you know their their fathers used to or their granddads used to. Uh, they prefer to drink at all, and and then they go out later at night when they've uh, drunk a few bottles of cheap beer from the supermarkets. So yeah, it's definitely affected trade. The only thing, I think it would stop people drinking as much at all because it's cheap uh, because of the price of it and, and I think it would stop a lot of the youngsters uh, with what they call binge drinking. Where they've already introduced it in Canada, directly attributable deaths purely from alcohol have been reduced by 32% and if we can reduce anywhere near that figure in Blackburn with Darwin it will be more than welcome.